Today we're going to demonstrate mid-sized recording technique or SAE class in mod 1, microphone homework. What is mid-sized? Mid-sized is a stereo matrix recording technique with some dramatic benefits that we can take advantage from. It is just another form of arranging your microphone for stereo recording but with some extra features. What do we need? At least one microphone with a figure 8 polar pattern. Another microphone of any polar pattern, but more than likely a cardioid microphone. We need microphone stands or a stereo bar is also optional. Two XLR cables, three channels on the console or DAW. The ability to flip the face of a channel. How do we set it up? First, we mount the microphones on the stand and set them like so, with the figure 8 microphone 90 degrees from the cardioid microphone. Recording mid-side. Now we're gonna have the help of a professional choir of singers. Rain, rain, grow away. You can come another day. Little people want to play. Rain, rain, go away. This is what we must do to decode the mid-side matrix. The mid-channel remains centered. The side channel, on the other hand, should be first copied, then panned one of them hard right and one of them hard left. The only difference is that one pant hard right should be face inverted so we can have one channel being opposite of the other. After that we can balance our stereo image by deciding how much mid channel and how much side channels we want. We could go on explaining the math behind this, but what is important to know is that after all this is done, we will have a very nice stereo image that we can manipulate in post-processing. Now I will show you the steps to decode the matrix in a DAW. We will be using logic this time. I'll show two methods. The first method is just like we would do in a console. First, we take the side channel and we copy it to an identical track. After that, we insert on that channel a gain plugin. We need this gain plugin to invert the face on this one. After that, we pan hard left and hard right. We can also group these two channels so we can change their volume in only one step. We can insert now an stereo analyzer to see and experiment how the relationship between the mid and the side channel affects our stereo image. Rain, rain, go away. You can come another day. Little people want to play. Rain, rain, go away. Now we will try another method. Instead of recording two separate channels, we will do one stereo track. Just make sure the mid is the left and the side is the right channel. We will now insert a plugin that is included a stock in Logic that is called the Direction Mixer. And with just pressing one button, it will decode the mid-side metric for us. By moving these bar sliders, we can adjust our stereo image. Notice how it narrows down as we center and how it widens as we open. And also what happens when we go beyond what would be a normal stereo field. We will insert another gain plugin after our stereo analyzer. This will allow us to collapse the sound to mono. And then we can insert another second stereo analyzer after the gain plugin that will show us what happens when we collapse to mono. As you can see, when the sound is collapsed to mono, nothing is cancelled. There are two very common myths about mid-side. The first one being that it's not a true stereo technique and that it's a mono technique with some ambience on top of that. But once you understand what is happening be behind mid-side, you see that it's a stereo technique just like any other, only giving us much more flexibility. The other myth is that it's very difficult. 
But the truth is that after you learn mid-site, it takes the same amount of time to set up as any other method. So if it's right for our application, we might just as well take advantage of it. Thanks for watching.